We've been talking over time about how contrast causes the creation of this vibrational reality. But sometimes you don't really understand what that existence of that vibrational reality really means because it contains every particle of interest or desire that you have summoned through all that you've ever lived and the specifics of what you have lived recently meaning in this lifetime are really highlighted and poignant in this vibrational reality and you any of you but you are at various times at varying degrees of receptivity of what's there so we would like to convince you that this vibrational reality with more creativity than you in this lifetime or 20 more could ever expose or actualize in other words the potential for pleasure and thrilling and extraordinary are really beyond Esther's reach for words so here this exists and you stand in various degrees of receptivity and those various degrees are the reason that sometimes you shoot over there with an idea and sometimes over there and sometimes over there is the reason that some ideas are more satisfying and seem to have more legs some ideas are minimally satisfying and they peter out more quickly and so when you accept the reality of this vibrational vortex and you see yourself in some vibrational relationship with it and you then begin to consistently do the only thing that is important which is consciously accomplish your purposeful deliberate relationship with that vortex which is much simpler than what you may think it doesn't mean understand what's in there and go in there and get it and bring it out where others can see it it doesn't mean identify everything that's there and get on the right path so that you can expose it to yourself in the world it means understand the vibrational frequency of it and accomplish as best you can a vibrational frequency within yourself which causes you to pair with it which puts you into the receptive mode where the ideas that it is begin to occur to you and that is the best definition of the ultimate creativity that we have ever described in other words it's your relationship with your vortex that is the key to your creativity because you are always in the receptive mode but the question is the receptive mode of what your vortex and all that it is or the stream of consciousness of man that is worried about this or worried about this or something from your childhood that you're still trying to overcome how purely connected are you to the whole of all that you've become and so your creativity is tied singularly only. It is only about how good you feel, how happy you are, how joyful you are. Let's use other words, how free you feel, how lighthearted you feel, how eager for this day you feel, how in love with life you feel, how intoxicated with living you feel. Because it isn't about teaching anybody anything and it isn't about impressing anybody and it isn't about creating the best of something that has ever been known in all of mankind that is touted on all the wavelengths for all to see it isn't about any of those things it's only about how happy you are right here and now that's how you understand your relationship with your vortex and when you are truly happy when you are in that mode of appreciation where you are feeling unbounding energy and enthusiasm for life that's when the creativity from who you really are from the vortex of all of your intentionality begins to occur to you and from our point of view nothing else will do everything else is mediocrity in one form or another nothing else will do so when you say well sometimes I go this way for a little while and I go this way for a little while and I go this way for a little while it isn't because you haven't made a list of things that you want you have and it's in your vortex it's that you're not right now tuned in to the culmination of the list of things no analogy is ever perfect and this one won't be either but just to get a sense of what we're talking about it would be like being a painter and going through life and collecting all of the things 
all of the ideas and all of the colors and all of the textures and all of the styles in other words you've been appreciating and fine-tuning the things that appeal to you and that matters what appeals to you matters a lot because in those most appealing moments hear this hear this in your most appealing moments that's when you shot your most definitive rockets of desire into your vortex your vortex is you knows you but you shot them off incrementally you don't really understand what they have done with each other while you've been doing other things the way your unique desires that you've been gathering up through lifetimes and specifically recently the way they have come together and the way they are posed to surprise and delight you creativity is not about you figuring out something and presenting it to surprise and delight the world creativity is about it surprising and delighting you as it happens it's only about your surprise and delight oh that idea oh ooh, that idea oh that action that was inspired from that idea ooh, these words, this that I see, this that I see that I'm able to translate from my inner mind out into the world where I can see it. It's for your surprise and delight, you see, because your ultimate creation is you. So many of our human friends think that the high flying place is a place of determination or that it's a place of strong purpose, a place of growth seeking. When the high flying place is that lighthearted state of allowing yourself to be receptive to subtle influences that build and build and build. So many people are meditating to withdraw from unwanted. We want you to meditate, to tune out of unwanted and stay there long enough that your vibration rises until you're in the state of alignment. And then, and then we want you to allow all that you are to flow through you. That's the optimum. That's the maximum. That's the ultimate of creativity where all of you is there. So. A little bit of trying too hard, a little bit of trying to force the creativity when you're not really hooked up. It'd be like trying to run your vacuum cleaner before you've plugged it in. You can go through a lot of motion. You can make a lot of marks on your carpet. You can drag it around all over the place, but really your real intent is not being satisfied unless you plug it in, you see. And so that's what we're always encouraging. And in these conversations what we are really encouraging you leading edge thinkers is to understand what connection feels like it feels like clarity but think about how fun clarity feels but it feels happy it feels like you're gonna feel when you're walking down the streets of Juno it feels like what it feels like to get out into this beautiful world and turn your face to this beautiful sky and drink in this beautiful air and have fun with your beautiful friends. It feels like so glad to be here in this body alive and fully focused this day. That's what alignment feels like, you see. And sometimes you hole up and you get all contemplative and all drawn within and all serious and spiritual. <laughs> You miss the whole point of all of it.